Very happy to chat with Ifadio Denebo, a third-year defensive end slash defensive lineman from Northwestern for the Minnesota Vikings. And he joins us now for X's and O's. Ifadi, congratulations on the last couple of victories. You you had a sack of Mike Glennon in the victory over the Jags, the 43rd in the history of Vikings football. Now, Mike Glennon's 6'7", but he's lanky. Is, is, was he, like, hard to bring down? Yeah, it reminded me of Nick Foles. Like, like those guys, they're trees, man. So, like, so um, there, there's there's many ways to cut a tree down. So, so for me, when you're tall, when you're uh, sacking those big, tall quarterbacks, you kind of have to like, <laughs> you kind of have to like, kind of just spin them around and throw them to the ground. Like, there's no there's no nice way of sacking a quarterback, unfortunately. You know the um and, and the celebration after the after the the safety markedly different than your touchdown at the college stadium last year against the chargers where you you executed that 18 inch vertical i mean that 42 inch vertical try trying to get into the stands here you get the, the safety of body and you look and like nobody was there yeah so um yeah so uh yeah unfortunately you don't have fans this year i was i wanted to show everyone that i can improve i've improved on my vertical but uh, <laughs> But it's it's probably a good thing that the fans were there, so I just got to pull the sword out and didn't have to worry about the the crap, I, the grief I got from all my teammates from trying to jump, jump into the crowd from last year. Hey, I'm um, through twelve, six and six bucks this weekend. We'll get into Brady in a little bit, uh, but uh, personally, how do you feel your season's going? Initially, I think initially as a team, we start off slow from a defensive standpoint, and I think for me. Um, getting used to the acclimating last year I was a rotational guy now I'm the guy who's playing 60 60 50 snaps so I think I start off slow but I think I think each week you're trying to find a new routine to find what fits you what fits you well and I think that Jags game I found a new routine I've kind of been switching things up and yeah I like that routine that I had going on and that's gonna I'm gonna be playing like that from now moving forward yeah, you didn't. Um, I'm, I'm really glad you said that. It, it's very self-aware, and you didn't have a sack for like a month, month and change. But is it fair to say, Ifadi, in, in the Carolina game, that you kind of jumped up in that game with whatever you're talking about, like doing some new things, and you may not have had a sack, but don't you sense things are getting better? Yeah, dude. So, so it's just, a, it's just a, like experience at the end of the day. Like, uh, like I, I remember people were telling me, "Hey, Ifadi, get ready for to be a starter this year." Um, and I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. But just, um, just from a standpoint, it's a different type of game. Cause last year I would go in all juiced up. You know what I mean? Play 20, 25 snaps, like, ah, bring, bring the heat and get out. But now each week, you know, each opponent you're going against the tackle you're going against, he's, there's tendencies that I do that I don't even know about that, that they are picking up on. And it's just, it's just, it's a game of chess. You have to constantly revolve, revolve, go get back to drawing boards. Me with Coach Dre, Coach Patterson, me with the Marjorie say, hey, what can I improve on? So, so I think that's – I think last game was a – I mean, I'm getting closer and closer, and I, I, feel, I feel pretty confident now. Ifadi Odenabo, defensive lineman for the Vikings, is our guest on X's and O's. And it's game day any day. Play the new Vikings scratch game from the Minnesota Lottery. Top prize, $100,000. Details at mnlottery.com. Uh, how, much has, how much has it impacted your season not having Daniil Hunter? Yeah, so uh, unfortunately not having Daniil Hunter was, was a big deal just from a standpoint. You know what I mean? He, he's a game changer. Obviously, he's like he's the leader where he's our most experienced defensive lineman. So having him gone early, it's kind of forced all of us to grow up. To be honest, it's, it's not more like hey, uh, uh, hey, uh, I don't I don't need to have a good game or I don't need to do my part because we have Daniela to save us. But now it's it's forced all of us to grow up, and I think it's, it's good at the end of the day. So next year, when we do eventually get him back, will be pretty be pretty special. But I think for all of us, it's forcing us to grow and. And I, th I think from that, like, we're, we're getting better from this. Ifadi, you touched on it earlier. You already have played a career high in snaps. It's close to 600. Do, does your body feel it? And, and is there a physical transition? Yeah, so, yeah, because, like, I think the first thing for me was uh, I didn't start. I didn't start in college. Like, I think I started two career games in college. So, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> so going to the NFL and starting your whole season. So initially, like, I remember the first couple of games, like, whoa, <laughs> yeah, this feels like a car crash. <laughs> like, you know, I've never been, I've never got, I've never had this feeling before. So then as a, as a veteran, the more experience you go to, you start talking to older guys, start talking around. It's like, hey, dude, what's your, plot, um, what's your routine? Like, what do you do throughout the week to get your body right? So I, as the week's been progressing, I've been finding new routines, more things, and I'm feeling a lot more fresh, and I feel, I feel really energized now. When, um, uh, if and or when you get over there to that defensive tackle spot in the business, they call it three technique. What yep. advantages do you have being in there? So, so for, from a three tech standpoint, as a standpoint, um, going against a tackle versus a guard, it's kind of a matchup. Usually, your guards, your tackles are usually your left tackle is your best athlete on the team, on the offensive line, and and usually your guards are not as athletic, but they're quote unquote smarter. So, a lot of times as a DN. You're so used to going against all these athletic tackles. So then when you go to a guard, everything happens a little faster because the ball's closer. But you just know that um, you can outwork a guard because they just lack the athleticism. So from that standpoint, going in and when I was rushing at three tech, there was just some mismatches right there. So so that's always an advantage. But it's less it's less room. So it's kind of you're kind of it's kind of getting in a street fight in a telephone booth. So you're like, oh, yeah. So you and this one person, you have one shot in the telephone booth. Why have I pop you? I knock you out. If I miss, <laughs> I'm going to miss pretty bad. <laughs> so. Yeah, but, I mean, you got to recognize a lot of the newbies listening right now are like, A, what's a telephone booth? And, B, if I was inside of that telephone booth with a patio denebo, if I don't pick up the actual phone and just start flailing, I got no shot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 good call because because uh, Gen Z is different. Gen Z, <laughs> Gen Z probably you don't know what a phone booth is, so you're, you're probably right about that. A couple of quickies uh, with Afadi Odenabo. Uh, he had that nice safety and uh, subsequently a sack on Mike Lennon in the Jags game. We got the Bucks this weekend. Uh, last one for the inside of football. Fans hear me and others, Afadi, reference the word contain frequently with Ben Van. So. What does that mean for those who don't know, and why is it important? So, so when uh, when people reference the word "contain," they're usually referring to the defensive end, the edge rusher, and a lot of, a lot, a lot. You'll hear that you'll hear that talks a lot when you're going against a dual dual threat quarterback. So, your quarterbacks like um, your Russell Wilsons, um, Deshaun Watson, who else? Even little Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. So from, from a standpoint of a D lineman, you know, when you're going against, um, let's say, like uh, Phillip Rivers, you know he's not the most mobile quarterback. So as a defensive end, you can shoot your shot. Like, like you're trying to work on your speed rush, but if the B gap tends to be open, you can do a little quick inside move, and you can capitalize and hopefully get the sack. Because if you miss, you're not really worried about him. L- l- lose, blowing, you're not worried about blowing contain because – Blowing contain is that the quarterback gets out of the, the tackle box and runs for like 10, 15 yards. So, so, so that's kind of – so for DM, you have to pick your shots and you have to know who, um, who the quarterback you're, uh, you are facing. Some weeks it's more important to fo- focus on keep, uh, contain while other weeks you're like, let's get going, man. Let's get to the quarterback. I ain't um, not expecting you to share the game plan, you know, against Brady and the Bucks, obviously. But for yeah. you, what are some keys getting to Brady? And, I mean, given you are a quality three tech, when you get the opportunity and your legs are fresh, I mean, that, that's that been the book on Tom all of his career. The middle pressure just messes with him, you know? Yeah, just just from a standpoint, you know, like uh, all, all these the, the, the great quarterbacks like the Aaron Rodgers, the Tom Brady's, the Drew Brees, like every quarterback looks looks great until you get popped in the face, right? Like you know what I mean? Like you think you think you know, you're ready for a street fight until you get popped in the face. So, so from from a football standpoint, it's just getting them off the launch point. Like you know what I mean? Like they're in practice, they're not used to getting hit all the time. They're throwing the perfect balls, they're throwing perfect spirals to their to their wide receivers. But then when you get to a game and you're getting pressure and you're getting pressure in the middle, you have to move out of your launch point and you're kind of uncomfortable and. The key thing is you want all these quarterbacks to be uncomfortable and not get into the get in the groove. 
If Adi, fantastic work as usual. Really, really happy when things go well for you and for the team. Thank you very much for the time. Best of luck this weekend, all right? Hey, thanks, Pia. Thanks for having me.